how to use your Philips headphones with the Philips app. It's quite simple. I'm going to go through it really quickly, what you can do, how to do it. So first of all, this is the app that you need. It's this Philips headphones app right here that you can get on the app store, anything like that. So first thing we're going to do is just going to open it up. Now, you're going to need to set, connect your headphones to Bluetooth separately from the app. And then once they're connected, it, they will automatically be added to the app. I didn't have to manually add these. I just paired them and now they're here. But you can see they're not connected because these are the case is closed. So all I need to do then to get them, get this triggered is I just need to turn them on. And once they pair, um, I don't even need to manually hit the connect button. You may want to do this if it sits like this. But generally, once it connects, it will automatically go through. And then once we get there, I'll show you some of the things we can do with this app once everything loads up. So once it loads up, we can control a lot of stuff right from here. First of all, we can play and pause our music straight from here. Now I'm using YouTube Music. It shows that you can skip forward and back. It doesn't work on mine. I don't know if that's with, it only works with you know Spotify or, or other music uh, sources. But anyways, with the YouTube Music, I can play and pause. I can also um, have changed the equalizer. Now it has presets if I want uh, big bass, big treble, if I want it um, optimized for voice or for maximum volume. And or I can just customize it and put it in the, you know, and have the custom equalizer, which I can then reset. I can also control my running light straight from here. And then I can go, there's quite a few things that I can do with this app. One of the nice things I can do is the is optimized for audio latency. So if you're playing video games or watch using these to watch TV or even on phone calls, um, and you want to minimize the latency, which is the delay in sending the sound to the headphones, we can turn this on. Now it's going to reduce the uh, effective distance. You're gonna to need to be closer, but if you have this in your pocket and you're wearing them on your head, it won't make a difference. Um, you can also manage the different connections that you have. You can do the multi-connection straight from the app. You can have it turn auto off uh, after a certain amount of time, automatically turn your headphones off. And you can also turn off the touch controls in case you're in a situation where you don't want um, you know, touching the headphones to have an impact on what happens. You can also customize all of these touches, what they'll do, whether they play, whether they skip a song, whether they answer, whether they call the, the voice assistant, whether they turn the volume up and down, all that kind of stuff you can control straight from here. You can have different uh, gestures if you want them. You can also have a separate sound equalizer just for your phone calls. So you can have it one, one while you're listening to music, and then if you get a phone call, you can have it uh, go into a special equalizer just for your phone calls so that you get better sound on your phone calls. So all of this stuff is really user friendly. It's not super robust. It doesn't do a ton of things, but what it does, it's really easy to do. It's really easy to control. And if you're interested in these particular headphones, I'll put a link down below.